when I used to uh, be a guy, I was I felt like like nothing. As soon as I transitioned, that's when I started seeing everyone pay me my respects. That I came out of my shell. What you just heard Brianna Levinsky do openly state their identity is an act of courage that's very important. That's what President Joe Biden said in an official statement today. This is the 33rd annual National Coming Out Day where LGBTQ Americans are encouraged to be open about their orientation. Last time we had this kind of recognition coming from the White House was the Obama administration. She's the executive director of the LGBT Center of New York. She adds that it's not just one day that people come out. As an LGBT person, you have to re-come out all the time. You change jobs, when you start dating again, um, when you go to a new place, you often have to come out again and again and again. It's hard for them to like be out there, so I think most of them just keep it to themselves privately, which is a sad thing. I hope it'll change someday. Ayman is originally from Morocco, where it's illegal to be LGBTQ. He was among a variety of people today expressing gratitude that that's not the case here, but also saying that being able to come out is not always a given in the U.S., including in our region. Here in New Jersey, where we've had senators increase, in, uh, introduce anti-trans legislation. And so what individuals can do at the local level is to speak out against this type of legislation. The new Superman, John Kent, son of Clark and Lois, came out today as bisexual as part of the holiday. DC Comics using the event to encourage others to be who they are. And an activist points out that coming out is not limited to just LGBTQ people. It's also for allies. Your workplace, in your school, in your local community, you coming out as an ally could save somebody's life. And in that story, you saw some images from the annual Pride Parade that takes place in the summers right here. It, along with this holiday, meant to encourage people to embrace their identity. Some indicators, though, of just how challenging that can be. 16 states have introduced new anti-LGBTQ legislation this year. And the LGP, LGBT Center here in New York City recently commissioned a detailed study that concluded that 40% of LGBTQ people don't let their orientation be known in their workplace. <laughs>